we want to write the rectangular equation y equals three in polar form. Remember the graph of this would be a horizontal line intersecting the y-axis at three. To write the polar equation, we'll use these equations here that relate polar and rectangular coordinates. So to write the polar equation for y equals three, we want to perform a substitution for y in terms of r and theta. And y is equal to r sine theta. So if we start with y equals three, we'll substitute r sine theta for y. So we'll have r sine theta is equal to three. And now we want to solve our polar equation for r. So we'll divide both sides of the equation by sine theta. This simplifies to one. So we're left with r equals three divided by sine theta, which would be a polar equation for y equals three. But we can also write this in a different form. We could write this as r equals three times one over sine theta. And the reason we might want to do this is we know that one over sine theta is equal to cosecant theta. So we can write this as r equals three cosecant theta so that our equation does not contain a fraction. So our polar equation could be r equals three divided by sine theta or it could be r equals three cosecant theta.